In the spring of 1997, a British charity program called the Princess Trust collaborated with Sony to create a special standalone demo disc. They called it Power Source, and they made it available to purchase for £10, with all proceeds going directly to the charity. This is an earlier style demo disc, with separate menus for the games and videos, similar to the Demo 1 discs. But, is it any good? Are the demos worth it? Let's take a look at what Power Source has to offer. begin with a demo for Monster Trucks, otherwise known as Thunder Truck Rally in North America. I first covered this demo on Disc 3 Volume 2. Pretty average racing game, developed alongside Destruction Derby. You can do simple races or crush other vehicles in an arena. This demo gives you one level to race in. Here's a demo for Robotron X, a 3D remake of the arcade game Robotron 2084 from 1982. The gameplay is very basic. Shoot down all the enemies on a flat grid while avoiding getting shot. I originally covered this demo on Disc 1, Volume 2. The demo gives you a handful of staggered levels to play through. Thanks, Jake. The match is starting as we speak. The next demo is for Riot, which explores the idea of rugby mixing together with football and basketball in the future, become a new hybrid violent sport. We first saw this demo on Disc 5 of Volume 2. Charged up again. Great passing skills there. Great movement. That was well timed. Oh, what a beautiful move.
And now we have Porsche Challenge, a simple yet surprisingly fun little racing game where you have multiple characters, each with their own racing style and personality, all driving Porsche Boxsters on a number of tracks, including one based on Porsche's own test track. This demo also appeared on Disc 3 Volume 2. The demo gives you the USA short track to race on. Moving on to the demo for Exhumed, also known as Power Slave in North America. Another first person shooter, this time based on the Bill engine. Save Egypt from an invading race of alien bug things. We saw this demo on Disc 2, Volume 2. In this demo, you have one level to try out. Now we have the demo for Tomb Raider. One of the PlayStation's flagship series, this demo puts you in the second half for the second level of the game. Take Lara Croft through a series of rooms that require her to do some climbing and shooting. You've got six minutes to get through this.
Well, this is interesting. This is the demo for Excalibur 2555 AD. A game that was trying to compete with Tomb Raider, but couldn't keep itself from getting too boring early on. This demo gives you a level comprised entirely of drab underground rooms and voiced NPCs. Yeah, another demo from Disc 3, Volume 2. The name's Trador. I was wounded on a raid on the Ort peasants and was left for dead by my troops. We were trying to rescue one of our officers that the Ort had captured on our last raid. I'm badly in need of some medical attention. If you can find my backpack, there's a medikit in there. Please help me. Help me! Find my medipack! You over here. The last demo is for Spider. It's a 2.5D platform game where you control a spider with cybernetic attachments that you use to overcome obstacles and deal with all the strange creatures infesting all the locales. This demo was originally on Disc 2, Volume 2. Before we move on, I should mention that this disc also has a demo for Destruction Derby 2. But unfortunately I could not get any footage of it because every time I tried to load it, my PlayStation 3 would completely lock up and require a hard restart. This demo works fine on a regular PlayStation 1. This is Snave, a Net Eurozy game exclusive for this disc. Net Eurozy was Sony's indie program giving outside developers an easy way to make games for the PlayStation. Snave is a very simple ship shooter game. Gameplay is very deep, but this is the full game, so hey, can't complain too much.
Now for the videos. The first video is called Blown Away, which is a showreel for games that were released in 96 and 97. The next video has the Sony manager of developer support, Paul Holman, talk more about the Net Yorosi program, where he describes what it's about and how to get in on it. The last video talks more about the Princess Trust and what it does, how it helps people better themselves. The video also talks about a special competition the charity was hosting to help a lucky new developer get the resources necessary to develop a new PlayStation game. Well, that's everything found on the Power Source disc. A pretty interesting disc, I must say. It's definitely packed with demos. It would make for a great alternative to the Demo 1 discs. A nice way to introduce someone to the PlayStation. Another interesting piece of trivia, the Princess Trust is still around. They advertise themselves as a program to help young people gain the skills and confidence needed to find work or even start a business. Not sponsored, by the way. As for the disc itself, the only other thing I could find out about it is that it has an unused demo for Namco Tennis Smash Court, as you can see here from this unused title screen. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks for watching.